Welcome to Slash Bash, where today I am bringing you another Choosing Beggar Reddit video. In our first story, just because I have $100 doesn't mean I'm obligated to give it to you. Let's jump right in. So times are tough right now, we all know that. The other day I needed to get a few things from the store. I decided to walk to save on gas. I didn't plan to pick up too many things because I have to ration out the money that I currently have until I start my new job, which might not be for two weeks. My mother had given me $100 that I told her I would pay back whenever I got my first paycheck, which probably wouldn't be until two weeks after I started, so I probably wouldn't get a whole paycheck for a month in total, but she understood and decided to help. I needed to say all that to preface what is about to happen in this post. Now, I did have a couple of singles in my wallet, along with the $100 bill that will be important in a minute. As I was walking home, there was a homeless man with a sign asking for money, and understanding that times are tough right now for everyone, I decided to give him the two singles in my wallet. Unfortunately, he ended up seeing the 100 in my wallet and yelled at me for being so selfish, and I could spare more than just $2 if I had $100 in my wallet. He told me that rich people like me would never understand the poor and he yelled at me, You think I want your two singles? You can't even give me a 20? Why are you wasting my time by talking to me? So basically I just decided to walk away. He kept yelling at me as I was walking away saying things like, One day I hope you know what it's like to be poor. One day you're going to be homeless and I'm going to laugh, you stuck up witch. I mean... I have been homeless in the past, but you know I'm not about to stand there and argue, because what's the point? I ended up going in the store and grabbing some eggs and a loaf of bread. I used part of the hundred to pay for it. And then who do I see in the store buying alcohol? Oh, look, it's the homeless man who screamed at me on the street. Apparently he had badgered enough people into giving him money that he could afford some cheap alcohol. After I got my money and went to leave, I guess he had been standing outside waiting around the corner, which is just plain creepy. He yells at me, now that you broke that hundred, how about you give me what I'm owed and give me a 20? At that point, I got angry and I just said, I don't owe you flipping anything and walked off. To be completely honest, I don't know if he was drunk. I don't know if he just felt entitled. Either way, that's not the way to ask people for money. Story number two, a potential client doesn't think I can do math, apparently. Good morning. Mary mentioned you have an opening for babysitting weekend nights. Hey, uh, I do have openings now. I'm Jackie, by the way. I'm actually open Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Send me some details and we can do a demo if you want. Yes, perfect. I'm Karen. We'd be interested in all those days from about six until midnight. We have four girls under five. While it's a lot, I promise they are angels. <laughs> I'm sure they are, and I can't wait to meet them. I can probably do two of those nights. I don't want to give up every night, if you understand. We would really need you for all three nights. Pretty please? Okay, no promises on all three nights, but I did say I could. Price is, um, for four kids, it would be $30 per hour. We were told you were expensive. My hubby and I decided on 15 an hour with a possible bonus. So about the babies, we expect you to have them bathed, diapered, and asleep by eight. They are angels, so it should be easy. They need to be put in nighttime diapers, not those day ones or lots of leaks, lol. You should probably wait as long as you can before bath time as my oldest likes to poop right before bedtime, lol. Whoa, hold on a second. I'm not doing $15 an hour for four kids. I can negotiate a little, but that's just too low. Also, are none of them potty trained or is it just nighttime diapers? Hmm, let me talk to hubby. 30 is way too high, lol. That's ridiculous. Our oldest is in pull up so she is almost there. But she still poops in them? How old are the kiddos? That's my rate. It's pretty competitive in the area. My hubby says 25 for the first two hours and 10 for the rest of the night since they will be sleeping. I have twin two-year-olds, a three and a four-year-old. I swear you will love them. 
That's still $90 a night, laugh my butt off. It's the same thing as $15 an hour. Also, because babies are known for sleeping through the night, I'm willing to go to $25 an hour, but that's really it. But the bonus, do a good job and you can get more. Tomorrow would be perfect for a demo. My hubby and I will both be home. Come over around 11. With that time, it will be perfect. You can do most of the diaper changes, cover nap time, bathe them, and put them to bed. That's an absurd demo time. I normally do it for like an hour or two. I doubt we'll come to an agreement on this. Thanks, but no thanks. But we want you. Mary said you were amazing. What can we do to get you? Pay me, lol. We want someone who loves our kids and isn't in it just for the money. Pretty please, I don't want to tell Mary how bad you are being to us, but I will. 100% no. Good luck getting someone to babysit four kids and diapers for that cheap. Please tell Mary I'm going to send her this myself. In story number three, a choosing beggar wants to sue us for 600 euro while she owes us 7,000. So my parents own a souvenir shop in Greece with the rent being 300 euro a month, but on paper, 100 euro a month. It's something that almost everyone does in Greece. The landlord, which is the choosing beggar and my parents had an agreement. Due to COVID, we knew there won't be a lot of tourists, so they agreed whatever money my parents make, they'll give to her. In the summer, there were no tourists. My parents barely made a thousand euros from the shop. They told the choosing beggar that they won't be able to pay the rent throughout the winter, and she said it was okay and that she understood how things are. Fast forward to March 2021. My parents receive a letter from her lawyer saying that we weren't paying the rent for no reason and that if they don't pay the rent for the past six months from November to March in 15 days, it'll be taken to court. My parents paid the 600 euro and about two months later in early May, they receive again a letter from her lawyer saying that the rent for these months wasn't paid. Again, it'll be taken to court. We understood that the landlord lied to her lawyer about not getting the money, so my parents are now taking her to court because she owes us around six to seven thousand euro. Over the years, she had asked my parents for money multiple times because she owes a lot of money to the bank. Thank God my parents weren't dumb and signed a written agreement that they'll give her the money as long as she returns it. I'd like to add that my parents had the money to pay her throughout the winter, but as I was supposed to have open heart surgery, they wanted to keep the money for that. In the end, after a lot of examinations, I don't need heart surgery. I may need to later on in my life, in my 50s, but at least for now, I am free and clear. Story number four, this guy has had it with choosing beggars. Photographer looking for people to do their job for free in Chicago. I'm a photographer and since people are always looking for free shoots, I assume they must also do their job or provide their services for free. I'm looking to hire all types of people to do all sorts of jobs for me, as long as I do not have to pay anything. Just think, you will gain more experience and I will put the word out for you and let everyone know what wonderful work you do. This opportunity will bring you a ton of unpaid work, but everyone will love you. So if you have a job or service you provide and will do it for free, please let me know because I am sure I have work for you and will hire you in a second. Feel free to email me with the service you can provide, when you can start, and please include references. I look forward to your free service. Story number five, trying to exchange something you didn't even pay for. Hi there, we put extra stickers in every order. They are freebies so you are not charged for them. Oh, okay, the thing is I won't use these stickers. Can I send them back and pick different ones? I'm so sorry you don't like them. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be cost effective for you or me to send them back and mail out new ones. These are just my little way to say thank you for shopping with me. Again, I apologize that you aren't happy with them. So that's a no? 
That's bad customer service. You should ask customers what stickers they want rather than sending whatever you feel like. Shaking my head. This is John from Slash Bash. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed the video and want to be the first to know when the next one drops, subscribe and make sure you click on the notifications bell. We would love for you to drop a like, share it with your friends, and we will see you in the next one.